to continue on with the Geek Tools uh, series here, I want to talk about the concept of um, developing things from scratch. Now, the reality is that it's, uh, it's a developer instinct that whenever you get a new project to say, hey, I could do this from scratch. I could build this whole thing from the basement to the rafters. And almost invariably, it's a bad idea. If you think about any time you develop something online, um, there are myriad tools available for you to start with. So think, for example, of a platform like Joomla. Joomla is a content management system that takes into account user uh, management. It takes um, uh, a component development system. It has a templating engine in place. It has solid content management. Um, it has all these things just right out of the box that you can work with. And there's a programming interface for you to um, develop an actual um, specific component that your client would need. Um, there are a variety of these, and the trick is to figure out which is the most appropriate. So thinking of things online, you have things like WordPress, you have Joomla, you have Drupal. Um, you have, if you want to go lower level, you have things like Kohana and CodeIgniter. Um, now, I'm revealing a bit of a bias here in that I tend to go with open source and PHP, but there are a variety of these as well for um, some of the more proprietary uh, platforms, things like ASP.NET um, and, um, you know, the, the uh, Java tools as well. Um, the major thing to consider, though, is what is the simplest thing to get up and running as quickly as possible. So if you have a simple platform that all you need to do is sell an affiliate um, you know, product, a downloadable ebook or something along those lines, well then probably your best bet would be to grab something like WordPress. It allows you to quickly generate some documents, uh, it allows you to uh, create search engine optimized content very easily, and um, you can crank the thing out, um, you know, in, in a matter of minutes. Uh, if you need something a little higher level, you need to create, say, a scheduling system. Well, then you might want to look at something more like uh, Joomla, where you have um, the component uh, that you can tie into the website, and it will, um, you know, take care of all of your, your managing of your users and your login system and, you know, forgot my password and all that type of stuff and then when they actually do a booking um, they can do that right through the Joomla system. Um, if you want to go something lower level, so let's say for example you want to build a complete educational system um, that spans um, uh, multiple user groups and uh, could be used anywhere in North America, well you may want to look at something more like um, CodeIgniter or Kohana where it it gives you the layer just above the database. You create your, your database with your, um, uh, your, your model of your um, tables and their, the way that they're interlinked. On top of that, you have your uh, data access control layer. And then on top of that, you have your templating system. So what you're actually developing is right in the middle here, you're building this business logic system that ties the interaction between the user to the database. Uh, it gives you a, an immense amount of flexibility without you having to go through and develop the uh, custom um, database access system. Um, anyways, the long and the short of it is that whenever you pick up a new project, make sure to develop on top of an existing platform. Don't try to do something from scratch because what's going to end up happening is you're going to create something and it'll work, but it's not really thoroughly stress test. Each of these systems that I've talked about have been put to use in hundreds and thousands of sites, um, both in terms of just straight content websites and um, involved development web applications, and um, they've been thoroughly debugged. So use someone else's code to build your platform, like build as your platform, and you can build, you can stand on the shoulders of giants. You can, uh, you can build something that um, uh, is done uh, way, way faster than if you built it yourself from scratch. So there's the tip. Use someone else's code to start with and build on top of it. That's it for now.